The joint European and Russian ExoMars made a successful launch with great applause and journeyed uneventfully to Mars. Our instrument is devoted to the measurement of trace gases by measuring the solar radiation passing through the atmosphere of the red planet. Some scientists are trying to determine the local origins of methane gas. Is it a sign of life? We're interested in looking at where the trace gases may be coming from. So, for example, if, if methane is there in abundance and you see it locally coming from a particular place, you'd like to know whether it's, uh, whether it's got a volcanic origin, whether it might be old gases that have been trapped in ice that is then, that's then released uh, due to sublimation processes, things like that. It doesn't have to be biology. Uh, and it's important to recognize here that I'm a little bit of a skeptic. You know, I don't, uh, I, I don't go for this life business. Um, I try to keep the other guys honest. The heat shield functioned as expected, all systems go. The drogue chute, then the main, were deployed correctly. Then the curse of Mars struck. One second's worth of erroneous data was passed on to the onboard guidance and navigation control system. When this odd data was merged into the computer's algorithm, it generated a false altitude reading, placing the lander below ground level. This triggered the premature release of the parachute and back shell. Braking thrusters fired and the lander's on-ground systems began operating, thinking it had landed. Unfortunately, it was still 3.7 kilometers in the air, and the universal laws of gravity took over, the lander smashing helplessly into the ground. Satellites overhead soon located the parachute and back shell, and then the lander itself, looking like a squashed bug on a windscreen. The lander was, however, a technology demonstrator, and the problems that arose could be quickly remedied. So ESA is still fully confident of the technology and will proceed with the next lander containing the ExoMars 2020 rover. With the latest analytical technology, the rover will drill down as far as two meters into the Martian soil, looking for those elusive microbes. Thank <laughs> you.